I'll kill and die for you, Jelly Bean. Maggie is very complex. She'll kill anyone who hurts her son. You need a shoe or your pants. We're infusing ourselves with the power that we have that's kind of been hidden, you know, and now it's starting to erupt and come forth. A trickster? Funny. You don't look anything like him. What are you? I was gonna tell you when the time was right. <laughs> I worked with a woman named Georgina Lightning many years ago on a series called Blackstone. And I never forgot Georgina Lightning. She was just an incredible actress. And when we were writing the role of Maggie, I said to my co-creator, Tony Elliott, you know, I write for this woman, Georgina Lightning. And then one day the audition tapes come in and Tony phones me and he says, have you watched the audition tapes? There's like a Georgina Lightning, but I think it might be her daughter, Crystal Lightning, because they look a lot alike. When we cast Crystal Lightning as Maggie, Maggie in the story Trickster has a mother named Sophia. And so here was this opportunity to cast Crystal Lightning and then cast her mother, Georgina Lightning. Well, I think we still got a job to do. I get to work with my daughter and my grandson. So there's three generations of lightnings that are working on this, that's monumental. Last chance. What are you waiting for? It's so amazing to have my mom on set with me, playing my mom. Like, when does that happen? That's so cool. Sometimes art imitates life in the most beautiful ways. Do not test me. Does Jared know who you really are? Casting Wade was so difficult because Wade's very enigmatic as a character and he's supposed to be charming and charismatic but also, you know, kind of dubious and you're wondering, is this guy a good guy? Is he taking the piss out of me right now? I don't know, like he's a quick to laugh but also quick to have one over on you. He's a trickster, you know, he's always shape-shifting and tricking and so those are all pretty hard traits to find in one person. And so we looked uh, far and wide for Wade and when Kalani Cuepo came in to audition, he just had a beautiful physicality. He almost embodied these raven-like qualities. It was kind of a no-brainer when we saw his physicality and in, in his characterization of Wade. I'm a character actor. Really look for all the clues. I identify with it. Even the things that are different about me, I don't judge them. I embrace them and I just start to play with them. But a lot of it is left to imagination. This particular project dealing with contemporary indigenous people in a very relatable storyline like we have and yet something that's really different and exciting and new is what makes this series an incredible offering that simply hasn't been experienced. I hope that people will stumble into it. I hope that people are hungry for it. I hope that people experience what magic we've been creating here for the past few months.